So in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at our mining rig with four GPU. This is very quiet mining rig you can have in your office at home. It's not gonna make any noise. It's not gonna get so hot. So you can have it uh, in a you know in a compact uh, place. So we're gonna take a quick look here and see how this uh, mining rig's built in. So you can see here, this is my hands. So two hands more or less. It's gonna be the size. And the good thing with these mining rigs, you can have up to four GPUs. Having four 3070s on a very compact types. It's uh, save you uh, space, save you um, uh, price on parts, so you don't need to buy expensive parts if something breaks in future. And then you're gonna have the performance, like for example, each of these GPU, you can get 60 mega hatches when you overclock. So by four, you got the 240 uh, mega hatches on a very compact size than before. If you remember a few years ago, you need to have like 12 video cards in order to have that performance. So now we're gonna jump to the computer the same way and you can see, uh, we're gonna check how much this rig, this rig is gonna cost with the GPUs included, the ROI that you're gonna get in a year and a half or less than that. And then after that, once you pay your rig, it's gonna be profit for you. The good thing with these GPUs, I'm gonna focus on the 30 series Nvidia cards. And I recommend to all the customers to buy the new video card is that you will get the warranty on the GPU. So you can have two, three years warranty on the GPU that covers you. And let's say you mine for a year or two years and then you decide to sell the GPUs, you're gonna sell them at the high price because they are the latest one and you can sell them for gaming, for deep learning, for multiple stuff and you're gonna get your money back on the hardware itself, okay? So now let's jump to the computer and see uh, the performance. Okay, so now that we are in the computer, we're going to check the ROI like we discussed on this minor rig. In this case, it's going to be the 4 GPU. The first thing you need to realize is that you need to be very careful and, uh, and make a budget and a planning of what you're going to buy. So you need to uh, put an Excel sheet with uh, how many, uh, how much money you're going to spend on the rig and how much uh, and what will be your ROI in a year unless that that for my experience in the past six years mining i see that um, most of the time you pay your rig in a year or less than that and after you pay your rig everything that you make is just profit for you that's without counting that the, the cryptocurrency can go up and you can make more money and of course it can go down and you can lose money but the, the the rule of thumb here will be keep mining save your coins and only sell them in the long term when the price goes high um, any investment that you do in life, I mean, my personal opinion is I do for long term, five years, three years, and keep constant of what you're doing. Okay, so now we have the website here and we have different models. You can buy your rig from us, you can buy it from anywhere, you can build yourself. Uh, it, this um, video is going to work the same way for you. So the first thing, I, I create an Excel sheet for you and you can use it in order to minimize, in order to see how much you're going to spend and when you're going to get your money back. So you can have a uh, you know an idea of planning uh, for the for the future for this business that you're building because at the end you're spending money on something and you want to have a return of that. Okay, so here we have uh, the the Excel sheet and we're gonna start for the rig cost. On the rig cost, you can download this. It's gonna be on the description of the video. You can download the sheet for you. Uh, you're gonna have the rig kit. In this case, I'm using the A200. This is the mine rig that we have. You can see here with four GPUs. You can support four GPUs. And in this case, we're going to uh, calculate the ROI with the RTX 3070s. Okay, so we go here, select the rig, put in name you want. The quantity, I'm pulling only one. Let's say you buy one today. The price of the website right now, it's around $899. This is sold out. Let's see this one. So price is $817. Let's do that. So $817. That's for the kit, so the rig without the GPUs. And then let's say you want to buy the GPUs. You can buy the GPUs anywhere. Uh, in this case, we're going to do RTX 3080, quantity of them. We're going to buy four because that's the limit for that um, mining rig. It's very compact. And then you got the price per GPU, which is right now, if you go to eBay, you're going to see that uh, these GPUs are selling for around $900. So let's say, let's go for a 3070. I recommend you to use the EVGA. They have a great warranty and is one of the best GPUs, okay? So you can see here 900, 910, uh, 850, you can find some of them. So around $900, that's what we're gonna do here. So $900 right now. And the total cost of this will be, and then automatically we have the total cost which calculate the price of the, v of the rig plus the price of the video cards. If you put six here, you see that the number is gonna change. See, so it's go higher, same thing. So we're gonna do four. 
and it's going to calculate the total cost of your rig. Now that's the first page we need to complete. Once you have that, uh, we can jump to the second one. And if you need to add another rig, you can set, do the same thing. So my rig, let's say the A100, which is the minor rig with six GPU, you're going to keep adding all your rigs here and have it organized in one place. Okay, so after we complete the first page, we're going to move to the second one, we see, which is the hash rate and TDP. Okay, so in this one here, what we're going to um, check is how much hash rate is going to uh, the rig the rig perform having the hash rate and the TDP so the water consumption of the rig we can have an idea on how much coins how much money we're gonna make per month that's really important to have so in order to organize this I I call it the rigs you put any name you want here we put the GPU in this case an RTX 3070 you can put 3080 or 3090 or any GPU you have then you're gonna put the quantity of the GPUs because that's what matters for the hash rate. And then we're going to see the hash rate per GPU. Now, we're putting 60 mega hashes here because we already know, I already know that the RTX 3070 can consume up to 60 mega hashes, uh, can do 60 mega hashes when you overclock it, and a TDP of about 120. I already test that, and we test all the GPUs, all the, we run different benchmarks, different uh, overclocking for them and different brands, and we know what the performance will be. Uh, later on, I will update a video uh, regarding this matter, but if you have a question, leave it a comment below or uh, you're welcome to send us an email to support at maverick-tech.com. You can find it on the, on the on the description of the video as well. Okay, so we find out that each GPU can do 60 mega hatches and the TDP is going to be 120 watts. Uh, after that, it's going to automatically calculate the hash rate for the amount of GPU that you select. So right now we got four, but if I put six here, you're going to see the hash rate is going to change and the TDP as well. So you don't need to worry about that. Just put the number of the GPUs you have, and then you're going to have the hash rate, which is 240. Okay, and later on, I will be adding more stuff to the Excel sheet, so you don't need to worry about, like, maybe hash rate for all the GPUs. I will put them here and automatically would update depending on the GPU that you select. Okay, so we have six, uh, 60 mega hatches, like I said before. TDP is 120. So hash rate for this rig is 240, and then we got a TDP of 480. Now, Here's a calculator website, and we need to put those numbers on that website, so that will tell us what will be our profit per month, per year as well, and also per week. So we're going to see that. We're going to click here, and it's going to open a website, which is uh, Crypto Compare. They have different coins that you can see how much money you're going to make. So you're going to go to your well, uh, to your Excel sheet, and you're going to select the hash rate. It's 240. Here, hash rate. Replace it for 240. Then we're going to go to uh, the TDP, which is 480 going to replace that for 480 and then here at the bottom you get the cost per kilowatt hours depending on the state that you have and this is for us if a different country uh, you should look at uh, that information as well but for the us for example my play in my uh, i live in florida and here is 10 cents an hour 10 cents 10 cents uh kilowatt hour so i put 10 cents and then the pool fee usually i use ethermine.org uh, that costs around one percent uh, the pool fee, right? So we pull all that, and as you can see here on the on the right side, and this remember this is gonna change depend on the price of the Ethereum right now. But you can see here the profit per month this rig is four twenty four fifty one profit per day. You can have it here the week per month, and then profit per year. This is what we're gonna look at it right now because we're gonna use that number. So in one year you're gonna make five thousand one hundred sixty four that eighty four with the price. Remember price of today. This is really important. Because price can change. The thing is, the rule rule of thumb is: remember, if you were mining like two years ago, Ethereum was like hundred and thirty dollars. Not too much money, right? But a lot of coin because not too many people mining, and that's another topic that we're gonna talk in another video. But because not too many people mining, you could get more coins. Maybe not much money, but a lot of coin. Now, with the price of today, you sold all those coins, and now you pay off your rigs, and you you still have profit. Okay, so like I said before, just keep keep focus on the long term. So we're going to copy that number and then we're going to go to the sheet again and then we're going to go to uh, profit per month. Now here you can just put the number, just paste it here to make sure that uh, that's your, you know, your profit per year. But what we're going to do is every month, every time we get a, we get paid and we finish the month, we're going to see how much money we made and we're going to put that number here. Now automatically after you put your uh, profit per month here, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to go back to the rig cost and ROI and in the section of ROI it's going to calculate automatically what's happening here is taking your total cost 
your total cost and it's going to be uh, reducing it again against this uh, table here so if you put february 400 and then you know march 400 whatever you're going to give you the error is going to be unit c is going down now here so at the end of the year then you're going to see if you pay off your rig or not uh, the good thing is, let's say, so we're looking at the calculator here, and it said that in one year we're going to make 5000 Let's do a calculator right now. So $5,164. We're going um, gonna to subtract now the total cost of the rig, $4,413. As you can see here, at the end of the year, we should have paid off our rigs with all the GPUs, with four GPUs, and we still have 755, 751 in profit. This is without counting that... If the Ethereum goes up, you can make more money. And remember the same way around if the Ethereum goes down. But let's keep it like that. Let's say that the Ethereum keeps stable at $1,200. And then at the end of the year, you got $751. Now you have all the GPUs already. The good thing buying GPU, and I like mining uh, with the GPUs and not with ASICs. Because ASIC one day expire, you cannot sell them to anyone. Nobody will use them for uh, gaming or for deep learning for different stuff. So if you have the... The GPUs, they say you have 751 profit, but then the end of the year uh, just passed and uh, you want to sell the rig. So let's say you sell the rig back to somebody for $500, just the rig, and then the GPUs, you got four, we're going to sell them for the same price because probably in one year, uh, the NVIDIA GPUs demand is so high, it's going to keep up the price or it, it, will, it may go even higher. So let's say we bought it for uh, 889 so multiply by 889 and then you got three thousand dollars and then let's say 500 for the rig so you know you you get back four thousand dollars so you pay back so you get back your rig for four thousand dollars plus the profit that you made which was five thousand dollars so at the end of the year you make nine thousand dollars they say you get back your four thousand and you still have five thousand in cash for you this is something to consider and this is only with one rig with four gpus if you have a six gpu mine rig which we offer on the website we're gonna make another video about that uh, you're going to have a bigger profit. So if you can build two or three uh, rigs in the long term, keep them. Just keep the coin and sell them when the prices go high. Okay? And don't switch coin every day. I will have another video about that topic. But uh, in the, you, 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 know, you don't have to switch coins every day because that will keep the rig unstable. Um, having a stable, uh, mining a stable coin like Ethereum, for example, it gives you profits of coins that have the value every day. And when the prices go high, then you can sell it. Or the way I work, for example, I got 10 rigs, five of them are mining Ethereum. And what I do is every time I get paid on Ethereum at the end of the month, half of the Ethereums, I change them for different coins, like new coins, for example, Cardano or whatever, any other coin. You can exchange it easily. So you don't have to mine that coin. Buy and mine uh, the best coin, the most profitable coin you can mine, and then exchange it for the other coins that you want maybe to invest in because you never know, maybe they go up. Okay. So I hope this video helped you and uh, let me know in the comment below what else you want me to perform. Like I said before, we have tested all the video cards and I will be uploading uh, videos more frequently so you can see and have an understanding how to invest on mining uh, cryptocurrency, not buying it because I like buying and mining it just because you buy the hardware, you mine and then you can sell the hardware. So you are not losing the money in the way that if you're, for example, just buying the coin and it drops tomorrow, you lose all the money. That's something I, I don't like it because I, I lost money in the past a lot uh, doing that. So I prefer to mine. Let me know in the comment below what you think about this video and if you want, uh, what you want to watch next. And I see you on the next one. Bye bye.